is a recording. Pull it together, will ya? Let's all just calm down. What's up, everybody? My name is Anthony Cicado. This is episode number 35 of Mentally Screwed. You know when you're at work in the morning and someone says good morning to you and you say good morning back? I mean, we really can't say that until it's like, I don't know, 11.59 when the morning's over and then we're into the afternoon. Right? Otherwise, if it's like 10 o'clock, 8 o'clock, if it's 7 in the morning, maybe you just got to work, it's like 5.36, can you really say good morning? You're, you're assuming at this point, right? You're assuming. The morning hasn't even happened yet, and you're saying good morning to someone else. The reason I'm bringing this up reminds me of a story. Something happened way back. I used to work at this, this agency, and I was, in, I was walking into the building in the morning, went to the elevator. You know how when you work at a place... You see people often that may work at, in different departments, different floors. You don't know their name, but you know you know their face. So you make a little small talk, and then you go about your way. So I get into the elevator on this particular morning, see a guy that I know that works on the floor above me. He says, good morning. I said, good morning. I didn't know any better. I guess at this point, it's, a, it's an assumption, but we don't know. Really early morning, it's like 6 o'clock. So then elevator opens. I go on my way. Immediately once I get into my office, my text message goes off. Bling! I look at it, and it's a group text. It's from Betsy from the business department. Now, Betsy, she was out. She's been out for a while now because she was about to give birth. So Betsy had this kid over the night. She texts a picture of the baby to all of us, to a few of us in this text message. The baby was fugly. Now listen. It happens, okay? Sometimes you gotta, you have a baby and it's fugly, okay? Odds are, you know, the baby will grow up to be a beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous, hot, sexy baby. Usually that's the way it works. If you're born and you're fugly, you become hot. If you start off as a cute little baby, you become fugly later on in life. It just, it's the way, it works. it's the nature of the beast. It happens, okay? Let's move forward. That's just a rough way to start off the morning right off the bat, a fugly baby text. Okay, so... I start doing my work. A few minutes later, who walks in to my office but Pam from payroll. And yes, I'm fully aware that everyone's letter in their first name matches the first letter of the position that they were hired for. Uh, Betsy in the business department, Pam for payroll. It's, I'm bad with names, okay? It was just easier that way. Anyway, moving forward, that's not the point of the story. Stay focused, people. So Pam from payroll walks into the office. She says, hey, I got to talk to you about something. I said, listen, if it's about Betsy's busted baby, I just, I don't want to talk about it. We shouldn't make fun of her. It's not nice. Pam says, no, it has nothing to do with her. It has to do with my grandmother. I said, I'm all ears. Talk to me. She goes, so, you'll never believe what happened last night. I said, give it to me, Pam. She goes, okay, I'm living with my grandmother because she's very, very old. She's like old to the point where... Half of the fridge is just full of applesauce because that's all the lady can eat. That's how old she is. So I'm sitting there watching TV last night, and I hear uh, just like a thump, 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 and a crash. So I run over to the stairs, and I see my grandmother laying at the bottom of the stairs. Immediately, the first thought in my head, for a split second, the first thought was, all that applesauce is mine now. Just for a second, just for a second, it wasn't, not longer than a second, it was just a second, and then I went right back into panic mode, oh my god, grandma's hurt. So I run down the stairs, she's alive, she's okay, she just, she broke a hip, but she's gonna be alright. I'm not proud of it, but it's been a struggle with the applesauce in the house for quite some time. Pam leaves. I don't know what to do with that information, I don't know what this says about Pam. I just let that go, and I move on. I... So I continue to do some work. Maybe about an hour has gone by. I need coffee. So I get up and I go into the little kitchenette that we have there in the office to get some coffee. Who's at the coffee machine there? But Frank from finance. Frank looks at me. He looks exhausted. I said, Frank, you okay? He goes, can I, can I bend your ear for a minute? Can I talk to you for just a minute, Tony? I got something I got I to gotta tell you. I said, give it to me, Frank. I'm all ears. I've heard so much this morning already. I need some more. So he goes, all right. Last night, you're not going to believe the kind of night I had. 
I said, I'm probably going to believe it, Frank. Just tell me the story. He goes, okay. He goes, I go on this date last night. Great date. Wonderful girl. Just met. First date. Smart, beautiful, funny, just amazing. Anything you can ask for, it's just she had it. It was great. Conversation flowed. It was perfect. We went to dinner. So we're sitting there at dinner at the restaurant. Everything's going smoothly. Then we finish dessert. She gets up, excuses herself to go to the bathroom. And I grab my wallet just to get ready because I know the waiter will be coming over any minute with the check. I open my wallet and I realize I don't have any credit cards or cash to pay for the meal. I had my wallet, but the night prior, I was switching over the wallet to another new wallet because this wallet was old and I wanted to upgrade from a Velcro wallet to a regular leather wallet because I feel like I'm old enough at this point to do that. Um, and I just had to let go of the um, Mickey Mouse Velcro wallet. But that's a story for another time. So I was switching everything over. And in the haste of switching everything over, I had gotten a phone call and I got distracted. And the Frank goes, you know me, I, I get distracted easily. So I ended up putting my license into the, the new wallet, my blood donor card and some other like gift cards. But I did not have credit cards or anything in there. It was like in mid-shuffle. And then I just didn't realize and I forgot. Grabbed the wallet today, uh, last night on the way out before I went to the date. Didn't realize. So I'm in full-blown panic mode. So the waiter comes over with the check. I say, listen, guy, you got to help me out here. My date is in the bathroom. I'm here. I'm not running out on the bill, but I cannot pay for it. I do not have cash, credit, anything on me. This is my wallet. The guy says, there's nothing I could do. You, you got to pay for the meal. I said, listen, I will give you my license. You take my license. You can see there where I live. I'm not running anywhere. I'll come straight back tonight. If, depending how the night goes with her, I mean, I don't know, if, you know. I don't know if I'm going to drop her right off or if she's going to invite me in. But if not tonight, tomorrow, after work, I'll even come on my lunch break to pay for the bill. I work over here. I told him where I worked, so he knew that much, and he had my license. I let him, let him hold on to my license. The guy said, okay. He was being a good, real awesome bro about it. Dodged that bolt. She comes back. I told her the bill was taken care of, and we left. Dropped her off. She didn't invite me inside. So whatever she said though that she did want to do it again so hopefully that, that'll work out so now i'm on the way home after dropping her off i'm on my way home i get pulled over by the police told the cop that i didn't have my license on me he says okay not a big deal let me run your name give me your name your birthday and i'll run it gives him give him my name my birthday he runs the license turns out my name is the same name of someone who's wanted one state over so he arrests me. I get arrested. I go downtown. They're doing the full investigation. Long story short, the whole thing is dragged out. I don't get out of there till four in the morning. You know, it was a mix up, different, you know, wrong name, different name. Finally, I make it back to the office just in time for work, straight from the station. I'm shot. This is why I look like this. I said, Frank, why don't you take the day off? He goes, I don't know. I didn't want to just call in last minute like that. Take the day. I said, Frank, go home. Go home, Frank. So Frank leaves. He goes home. At this point, I'm like, what in the hell is going on this morning? I, I, it's crazy. So I get my coffee, and I'm walking out of the little kitchenette thing we have, going back to my office. And I bump into Marianne from Marketing and Advertising. I said, Marianne, before you say anything, just, are you okay? Is everything fine? Because I've heard so much today that she goes, I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine. Everything's cool. I said, oh, thank God, Marianne. She wouldn't believe it. It's just, today, I, I'm not even going to discuss it. Hope the rest of your morning goes well. She goes, um, I'm fine, but you'll never believe what happened to my uncle last night. I said, Jesus Christ, Marianne. I said, what happened to your uncle, Marianne? She goes, why are you yelling? I said, I'm sorry. It's just been that morning. I'm not yelling. Just please tell me what happened to your uncle. She goes, okay. She goes, my uncle's on the freeway on the way home last night. His front left tire goes flying off of his car, rolls across the highway, up across this little lawn divider, and into this 7-Eleven, and takes out the, slur the slurping machine that they have in there. I said, holy crap, Mary, did anybody get hurt? She goes, no, nobody got hurt, luckily. Just the slurping machine took a pretty bad hit. But it gets worse. So behind the slurping machine, there is somewhat of a gas line, and then behind that, there's a bunch of wires, and the wires got clipped caused the spark, ignited the gas line, 
whole place blew up. Whole 7-Eleven caught on fire and blew up. I said, how did nobody get hurt? This is insane. She goes, well, the store was empty at the time, and the, the only worker that was in there was taking out the garbage, and he was throwing it in the dumpster that's like at the other end of that little parking lot that's there. So he was okay. I said, Jesus Christ, Mary, I'm going to be in my office. Hold all my calls. You're not my secretary, but just tell everybody, don't call me. Hold everything. I don't want to talk to anybody until this afternoon. Okay, let's, let's pass noon, let's pass lunch, then we can discuss things, but I'm done. I'm done talking to everybody for the day, for the, for the morning, at least the morning. Give me the rest of the morning. I got in here, it was, I think, 6 o'clock. It's 7 o'clock right now. It's, it's been an hour since I've been at work, and all of this craziness started heading towards my office. And I go, you know what, I'm going to go for, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step outside for a minute. I step outside the office and I go, you know what, you know what, I'm going to go find that guy who told me that it was a good morning, that, that, that said good morning to me, because technically I lied to him. I told him good morning too. It's not a good morning. It's not a good morning. So I'm headed towards the elevators, and I'm thinking, you know what? I'm not going to take the elevator. It's one floor up, but I'm not going to take the elevator because of this kind of morning that's been going on right now. My luck is that something's going to happen to me in that elevator. So I go for the stairs. Turns out there's some guy in the elevator in the stairway that's crying. Oh my God, jeez. Now, morally, can I just walk past this guy and not pay attention to him? Maybe I should, right? But I'm a better human being than that. So, I see this guy in the stairway. I go, hey, buddy, you all right? Everything okay? He goes, uh, it's just, I don't, I don't know. It's, I go, what's, what's your name? He goes, Stanley. I said, Stanley. And I met a guy named Stanley in the stairwell. All right, listen, Stanley. What's going on? Is it is it personal? Is it is it work? What's what's the deal? And he goes, it's it's personal. I said, all right, well, it can't be that bad. After the, after the morning that I've just heard of stuff, it can't be that horrible. What's going on, Stanley? He goes, well, uh, my sister just gave birth to a fugly baby. I said, is your sister's name Betsy? He goes, yeah. I go, Stanley, I gotta get out of here. So I get the hell out of there. I run up to the, sec the next floor. I find the office where this guy works that, that told me good morning this morning. I walk into the office. I see him like halfway across the room. And I yell out, hey. And when I say hey, I realize that I don't know his name. So I said, hey, guy. So he looks up with everybody else in the room. And I said, listen, I want to apologize. I responded to you this morning with a good morning. And I lied. Not a good morning. It has not been a good morning. I just wanted to say morning. I'm sorry to have interrupted everybody. I'm going to go on my way now. Please don't call security. Um, good day. And then I left. I, walked, I turned around and walked out. So my point of this story is until the morning's done, you don't know if it was a good morning. And I understand some people are like, yeah, but you're wishing someone a good morning. Are you though? Not really. You're not saying, wish you good morning. Right? Maybe you should. Maybe you should, be, you should be saying, I wish you a good morning. I wish you a good morning. No, instead we're just saying, good morning. It's a good morning. Because I woke up today. So it's a good morning. It depends where you wake up. No? No? I mean, come on. If you're not happy with what you're waking up to go to do, right? That's not a good morning. It's a horrible morning. So from now on, from this day forward, I think if someone says good morning to me, my response is going to be... I'll let you know. All right, that's enough from me. Hope you guys have a good day, and I'll see you next time. My name is Anthony Cicado. This has been episode number 35 of Mentally Screwed. Take This is a recording. Pull it together, will ya? Let's all just calm down.